Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the Asmus Toys expansion packs for their previous Frodo and Sam figures that you see standing here. The expansion sets come with these two new head sculpts, um, a couple of new cloaks that you see, and a actual metal version of Sting here. Um, and I've been looking forward to this release for, for quite a while now. They were meant to release back in February, I think. Um, but uh, for whatever reason, Asmus uh, delayed the release um, and have only just started shipping them. Uh, but they were, uh, they did announce a slim version of uh, Frodo and Sam, which were shipped uh, maybe a month or so ago. Um, and that leads to, I guess, one aspect of uh, disappointment that uh, really does annoy me, about, uh, particularly about Frodo here, uh, which I'll get to in a second. But uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, just zoom in on the head sculpt uh, where most of the issues are. Um, between the old and the new and uh, walk you through that. Hold on. All right, as you can see with the previous Frodo head sculpt, there were some uh, fairly significant issues on my part anyway, uh, particularly the uh, mold deformation that you see there with his left eye slightly drooping. Um, and uh, I guess the likeness really wasn't there either. Um, but uh, they definitely have improved the likeness, um, but uh, essentially ruined it uh, by doing uh, or not doing something else. Um, so here's the the new head sculpt, if I uh, don't topple them over, um, and you'll immediately see that the likeness uh, to Elijah Wood is definitely there with the new sculpt, uh, but what you'll notice is that there is a definite lack of paint application on the face. Um, it looks like they've pretty much uh, sculpted uh, the head, uh, given it just that slight bit of pinkishness in the lips um, and the eyebrows. Um, and then forgot and missed the actual detail on the skin. Um, as you can see on the, the right there, there are the, the, the rosiness in the cheeks, um, the very bright blue eyes that uh, you know Elijah Wood is known for. Um, the eyes on the new one are this really dark, I don't know what it is, it's like a very dark um, blue brownish color that uh, because it's so dark, it just looks like he's got dead eyes. Um, so I'm definitely disappointed in the way they've they've done that. Um, the skin just does not have that uh, nice realistic freckling to it, um, or any sort of variation in the skin tone. Um, and the hair here, um, they've actually taken a step backwards with the hair sculpt. As you can see there, it just looks like a big clumpy mess on top there, and with no stranding detail or anything like that. Even the original one um, has more detailed um, stranding in the sculpt there. Um, and the paint application, it might not come out on the, uh, the camera here, but the paint variation on the hair here, at least, you know, the tips of the hair have the lighter brown and so on. Whereas here, it's just a big uh, clumpy mess of uh, dark brown with no variation or anything like that. So I'm really not sure why it's taking them so long to release and then release uh, a seemingly incomplete product. Uh, from what I've seen of photos of the slim version that came out, uh, now that head sculpt looks like it's got a complete paint application, at least on the facial uh, paint and skin tone. Um, you can see the uh, variation in the, the cheeks, you can see the slight freckling that adds to that realism, whereas this expansion pack version um, really lacks all of that extra detail. So um, I'm definitely disappointed and I will be contacting Asmus directly. I did <clears throat> order this directly from them, um, so I'm just going to contact them tonight. Um, and at least ask for an explanation of what the hell happened uh, between this and the slim version that uh, was released. Uh, there were some comparison photos uh, released um, on the Sideshow Freaks forum, um, and there is a marked difference between the two. Um, I guess, you know, from, from the original here, if they had done this paint application on this sculpt, it would have been essentially a perfect release uh, for me, uh, with those eyes and that skin tone. Um, but uh, they've really uh, disappointed uh, myself and quite a few others. Um, and it's not just the sculpt that's a, a disappointment as well. The cloak here is the new one included as part of the expansion set. Now, if you ordered the original <coughs> Frodo, not the slim version, if you ordered the original, that came with this original cloak. Um, the material, I think, is slightly better. And you'll see that there is stitching along the edge. Uh, to add that extra bit of detail 
and the stitching is nicely done and you've got the nice little button there and so on but on this new one all they've done is cut the fabric so there is no extra detail or anything like that in in that uh, tailoring so um, the material itself isn't too bad it's very similar to the original but um, just the, the the lack of stitching detail uh, for an expansion set just um, says to me that uh, they they sort of rushed it out the door so I'm not sure why they did that uh, the metal sting is uh, nicely sculpted this is probably uh, the accessory that um, lives up to the expansion expectations and the improvements the original here was just a plastic version and you'll see the scale is um, a little bit shorter but overall the the detailing in the sculpt and so on is quite nice so I love that they were able to do that sort of patterning on a metal sword <clears throat> but um, uh, with the uh, head sculpt issues and the issues with the cloak um, it's really not uh, worth the upgrade to be honest um, it's probably worth more your money if you just bought the slim version um, particularly if you didn't have the original so um, I'll uh, be contacting Asmus about that on to Sam here um, he comes with uh, the uh, cloak that they originally wore in the Shire they these uh, cloaks were not given with the original releases um, they only came with um, the elven cloaks um, that they pretty much all come with now um, so it's good that they were able to to provide that um, and again I guess it doesn't have the the sort of detailing on the edge there but um, I guess there was no original version to to compare it against um, but from a head sculpt perspective this is where I think uh, they did a much better job so if I just uh, zoom in here, uh, I'm not sure if uh, the likeness is too much better, but I guess he doesn't have that uh, sort of pudginess in the the neck area there to make him look like he's uh, gone a bit over over too <clears throat> too overweight. I guess there is still that sort of a double chin there, which is which is good, um, and the overall likeness is a bit more accurate. And I think uh, the eyes are, are pretty good there blue eyes I'm not sure if they sort of screwed up between these two and you know put the wrong eyes on on the wrong figure or the wrong head sculpt um, but uh, at least uh, the Sam sculpt here is is better and the the paint application on the face you can see the variation in the sort of five o'clock shadow there there's the freckling that you would normally see on these head sculpts so it looks like they they put in the effort on this one um, I guess the Stranding on the hair again is is lacking in comparison to the original um, If you look at the original and then you look at uh, This expansion set. I mean, I don't know what they could have gone what could have gone wrong, but you look at the detailing in in That and the variation in color you can see the blonde streaks the darker streaks It's just so much better than than what they've done here. It's like if you're going to release an expansion set um, as an improvement over the original um, you know and you're asking the the customers to, to pay extra um, or at least got to do a better job I mean everyone was so excited when they um, showed the the prototype photos of um, their new Gimli figure and I have to say that the prototype photos look like I mean if that's the way it's released it will be their best figure ever um, but if it comes with um, the sort of production issues that these guys have come with um, then it's really going to be a disappointment for everyone so um, overall um, I'd uh, give this uh, expansion set um, no not a very high rating at all to be honest um, I can't remember how much it was uh, from the Asmus toy store um, I think it might be it might have been close to like 70 US dollars so um, it wasn't a cheap expansion set by any means um, and uh, they really have let the ball go with um, uh, these uh, this release so um, I'll let you know how I go with uh, contacting Asmus uh, and what their reply will be but um, if you've got these expansion sets coming um, or you have them already and have the same issue let me know in the comments below um, or uh, post some, something on the uh, Sideshow Freak forums or um, uh, One Six Republic but um, that's pretty much it um, hopefully you guys uh, can give uh, the video a like and uh, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for 
some of the other stuff that I've got uh, coming up. I do have, uh, I'm still trying to get around to the Lego um, Y-Wing and Millennium Falcon uh, videos. So hopefully you can stick around for that. Um, thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.